Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to create this self alignment mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. As you can see that I am currently assembly mode. So I am going to make all my parts in assembly. Let's see. So first thing that we are going to create is uh, some sketch. So I will select the front plane of the assembly and click on it and I will draw a center line escape give it a length if you want but it doesn't matter but just make sure that you know it is a straight line now exit the sketch mode so this is the first step that we have done now what i will do i will click on here click on new part and i will select the top plane press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view draw circle here like this draw another circle like this give it a diameter as per your requirements in my case i'm giving it 30 mm or 20 mm is fine and let's say this big one is 250 uh, let's make it 300 for better results 300 click ok now what you have to do is go to the features click on extrude extrude as per your requirement in my case 10 mm is fine click ok after that select this face click on sketch select this uh, edge and click on convert entities go to the features click on extrude and extrude as per your requirement in my case 20 mm is fine for me click now what i will do exit the assembly component mode Go to the features, click on new part, select the top plane of the assembly, press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Select the outside edge, click on convert entities. Uh, just click ok, don't worry about that. So we have created some sketch for here, click on here, small dimensions, click ok, escape. Uh, press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view, press escape, move this, by pressing ctrl select these two and notice my circle is black like my future so it means it is fully defined by the way my is, mine is not fully defined now what i have to do is uh, i have to draw some lines so i will go here and draw a line like this escape and some people you know sometimes ask sir where to get the dimensions of the drawing you know like that so i will just let you make you clear this thing that I don't know about its dimensions or anything else. I'm just making live in front of you. Uh, it's my first time as well. So yeah, I don't know about any dimensions of it. So see offset, select this line, reverse direction, increase the thickness to 30 mm is fine. Click OK. Trim entities, trim this line. Now click on here. Click on like this. Give the dimension as per your requirement 159 mm. To go to trim entities, trim this line. Now what I am going to do is go to the features extrude Make sure thin feature is on and make sure thickness is you can reduce the thickness Okay, here's a one issue notice that this is not correct line. So what I will do I will uncheck this one and I will make it correct left onwards So what should be the thickness that you think that I should give? Uh, Let's say uh, 30 mm and I have to uncheck this one first. Okay, this one, this one, okay, this one, right click, delete. Uh, the reason I've done is so that I can create uh, this entity separately. Click OK. Now that's a good thing. Now, what I will do. Uh, 
I will go to the I will go planes select this face uh, click on flip offset uh, make sure that is it is just touching the surface of it so I think make it 12 mm click OK Select this space plus control plus eight. Now I will look at the plane. Yes, it's above it. Notice now select the plane, click on sketch, press control plus eight again. So you know we get the correct view. Now I will draw a line like this and give it some stance. Let's make it 25 mm. You can make any you know distance as per your requirements up to you. And give some dimensions to it. This one, let's say 120. And I have to trim this line. Escape, select these two, make sure it's tangential and go here, give them dimensions 95. Uh, here you notice that there is issue that, for example, vertical one, it's uh, horizontal, but it's not selecting correctly. So what you can do is, this is smart way, click on horizontal dimension. So if you select this, it will automatically give you horizontal dimension, nothing else. So it's quite handy, you know, sometimes in case of smart dimensions, you face issues, click OK. And one more thing that I have to do is defining the arc angle. Select this one and this one. Escape. Give it angle as per your requirement. I think 96 is fine. Click OK. Features extrude. Uh, reverse thin feature direction. Reverse up upward. Make it 20. Click OK. Looks good to me. One more thing that I have to do. Select this. Click on here. Sketch. Go here, draw a shape like this, pictures extrude 10 mm, okay I think strength is quite higher than the expected. So I have to do a little bit of modification, I guess. So first I will delete this sketch. This, like this. Exit the sketch mode also and let's view geometry for a second. So I will select this plane, click on sketch again, and I will draw the line like this. And Make it close, features, extrude. Make sure the direction should be downwards, not upward. Click OK. And 
a little bit issue might be there because it's little above this thing plate if I exit it you can notice that it will hinder it so what I can do I will right click this okay first select the part click on add components right click edit plane instead of 12 just under 10 click ok exit it now it will not go to your windows now what I will do this is assembly time select this and this one make sure it's concentric click ok select this and select the top plane of the assembly of course select this and select this one make sure it's coincide now one thing that you need to make sure that this part must be fixed so what I will do right click fix component because this part is not going to move but this part will going to be rotated. Uh, most of people might not able to visualize it is rotating or not so what I will do uh, select this component click on edit component select this face press to top plus 8 I will make a little arc here so that we can visualize hey that it is rotating because you know it's a little bit difficult for us to visualize whether it's rotating or not and I will draw the arc like this click ok let's do a little bit let's say 1 mm go just for visualizing purposes nothing else so you can notice now we can visualize it is rotating that's great now let's give them some color uh, metals so far painted and plate will be let's make plate you know silver type now I need something you know that basically adjusted so what it will be if you guys remember that the total you know gap is 25 mm so will I use a something that is 25 mm exactly the answer is no little bit less so I will use something 24 mm so what I will going to do is go to the here insert components new part select the top plane press control plus 8 draw a circle of diameter 24 mm that is very important 24 mm go here extrude extrude as per your requirement let's say 20 mm is fine i guess click ok and exit it exit is in component mode drag it up now what i will do drag it up go here mate select this face and this face click ok after that what i will do is i will delete this mate the sole purpose of this mate is just to make sure that it is correct place and i have done it now go to the metal now let's use uh, polished blade no no polished bronze i think gold will be better gold yes gold it's all time high right now select this face press ctrl plus 8 now what i will do because i am here it's for easy for me you know to drag it so by pressing ctrl and right click on your mouse drag this part repeat this process uh, several times make sure that you don't do any kind of constraints you don't want it press escape simply now how can i do an animation that's the very important thing so i will go to the motion study and go to solidworks add-in click on solidworks motion just in case if it is not showing it simply means that you have not installed solidworks motion while installing this uh, solidworks okay so you have to reinstall it yeah i know it's a pain but you have to do it so select this i am going to give a motor go to the reverse direction so it can rotate this direction so I will go to the distance, how much distance I want to cover. I want to cover, uh, let's say, 720 degree in 10 seconds. Click OK. 
and make sure this is also 10 seconds forward and after that what uh, I also need to apply the gravity so gravity reduction is what downwards notice this little arrow green arrow yes it is downward direction and 9.8 okay that's good and what I need to define is contact so click on contact so use contact group so select these things it has contact group with this one click ok the other thing that need to be contact group is select this one and it has a contact group with this one click ok now pray that it works in the first time as we have to mess up our hair uh, let's try to get a good view click on calculate For some reason stuck in here, so it means that the surface is either not finished or there is you know a little bit of geometry issue. So let's see how can we resolve it. So I will go to the models. Let's see. I think it's a little bit above the surface, so there's an issue. So what I can do is I will select this go here, edit components. Let's see this feature, right? So click on here, go here click on offset let's put 2 mm or 1 mm so down the surface click ok so it's a bit down there so I think it can move and one more thing that I will do is go to the motion study and go backwards that I will define a contact within each other so I will go to the contacts and select all the components so that they know that there is a contact between each other as well so click on here click on calculate notice this is working more fine and better than the last time yeah it's a little bit slow because you know it's highly expensive computational power task So if I click on play the animation right now, you can see how does it work out. It looks good to me. And I think the result is, result is good. If you increase the motor speed, uh, you will get a better results. But yeah, it's quite, you know, good and satisfying for me. So tell me what you guys think. And comment about your thinking. If you want better quality results, what you can do is, uh, go here on this tab increase the simulation uh, increase the fps higher the fps better will be the result but it will take a long time plus you can increase the 3d contact resolution to high again i don't have a very good pc so i'm not going to do this because it will take a very long time so sorry for that uh, i can't do this this time so that's for all if you have any kind of doubt inquiries feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day namaste